Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Florence Mills. I'm back with you again. I'm an actress, a poet, a director, and a writer. This piece is from my selection again of Soul Love, Woman, dedicated to all struggling women and the men that supports them. Amen. <laughs> it was easy for you to judge because you felt you had the answers. My job was easy. All I had to do was agree with everything that you said, regardless whether I believe it or not. When I choose to show you that I've had vision, a dream, that I wanted to leap just as high as you can, I became a bitch or whore because I wanted to match you, to compete with you, to be a partner, a person. But you didn't want that. You wanted a dummy. Pull the string and it move. As long as your needs were met, life was fine. You was looking for a superwoman. A fictional character made up by chauvinistic pig who felt they knew the heart of a woman. The same group who made the slogan that a woman places in the kitchen. How ignorant does it seem that in this millennium that there is more women working, supporting their families, yet the violation of women have not ceased. It start as young as 13. Young girls being called bitches and hoes. The image of hookers is plastered all on the screen. So parents have a hard time competing with the media. Everyone knows that with an ounce of an intelligence that that kind of living can only lead to failure. Yet the fraud is perpetrated. An illusion that the young girl is sexual diva cause mental illness and hard to raise young girls. Which does nothing but prepares to prepare them for the reality of the job market, which is going to demand at least an associate degree. <sighs> the yin life is perfect once I knew my place. The sad part to it is how could you love who you don't respect? Or think is incapable of making decisions. How could you leave me when you see me climbing to the top, reaching that peak that you were encouraging me so much to get there? Now, you're intimidated by my number one status. Do you see the point where I'm going with that? <laughs> That the higher the female goes, the more alone she is. As you state to me in my female state, that I, well, you're not going to get that far. As you left me alone to fend for myself with your child looking just like you, needing your guidance. As you call me, wishing me happy Father's Day. <laughs> and I'm not a father. I bore the cut of womanhood twice and proud to be. I remember the man I married impregnating me, neglecting his duty as a father. I remember when the marriage wouldn't work, didn't work, though no financial gain, I became another statistic. Another woman raising a child alone, struggling with the help of my mother and sister. <sighs> can you understand how much love I have? For if only you can see me for what I am, a person. Just like you who has feelings, who can have an explosive temper, but yet... Filled with tenderness. Can you understand I, a woman, full of the complexity of being a woman, with a childbearing years, yet embracing the changes coming? Love has always been the word that could heal the bitterness of being let down.
Yet I struggle every day. Every day teaching the child you gave to me to love herself as a woman who would be challenged every day by her peers as well as men who will be asking for sexual favors to get to the next level. I, yet I, still feel she has to remain strong to love herself. Her man, understanding and the forgiveness for past discretion, facing a bright future. And she still have to have love in her heart.